Councillor Cordova. Thank you, Mayor. I uh, strongly suspect that um, this disaster relief donations policy will fly through. That is the recommendation to remove it. But I'll just foreshadow now that if under some circumstance it doesn't, then I foreshadow that I will move the opposite motion, which is to renew the policy. I've given this some thought and, and um, I appreciate the staff's time in talking me through it. Um, my initial thought was that there's no harm having some safety and some um, policy framework on the books, even if you don't use it. Um, it's not clogging up the, the council hard drive and it's not, um, you know, the, the weight of the paper isn't too significant. Um, specifically, I thought that if ever, although I don't predict it in this council, you know, obviously because of the economic situation, but if a donation um, proposal ever came before the council, I think it would be helpful to have prescribed organisations be the only ones that you can donate to. For example, as it suggests in the policy, that if you were to donate to a particular council, you would have to contact that council first rather than just giving it to a local club or, or a friend. You would have to go through, if it's an international disaster, the prescribed organisation, whether that's the Red Cross or the national government or, or whatever the United Nations agency is. So I think having those protections in place are quite useful. But then again, if this policy wasn't used, for example, during the, the Hue and bushfires, when will it be used? So I guess my first question is, um, are there any other unused policies on, on Kingborough's books? Mr Smee. Uh, through you, Mayor, it's a difficult question to answer because we kind of don't know until we do a review that the policy hasn't actually been used. So I'd suggest that there's not, but potentially... There could be, but bearing in mind we do review all of our policies every two to three years and it's unlikely that there would be policies that are just sitting there unused, but um, with change over time there is the potential that policies either become obsolete or, or they need updating. Thank you. A further question, Mayor. Is the... Is the staff recommendation here based on the policy being obsolete or is it based on the policy being unused? Mr Jones. Through you, Mr Mayor. Um, I think if in times of natural di disaster, the main um, assistance is provided by federal and state governments and all councils receive that support there. Council does provide assistance, more of an in-kind support and in the recent hue and um, bushfires and others, we were significantly involved in that. So that's really at the level that we do provide the support. Um, at the end of the day, 10,000 is nice. Is it going to make a huge difference to another council um, if they've got, you know, damages many hundreds of thousands of dollars? So the combination of all those facts and the fact that um, it hasn't been used in significant disaster events, which I would struggle to think of... Um, well, hopefully there'll never be any much worse than that coming, um, then, yeah, I don't see any point in continuing the policy. Thank you very much for that answer. I appreciate it. A further question, Mayor, is um, noting that I'm pointing out that there are some safeguards provided within the policy as it exists. Um, would there be any harm in, in renewing it um, beyond the fact that it's unused? Would there be any harm in renewing it? Mr Jones. Through you, Mr Mayor. Um, clearly there is no harm. I mean, the policy can sit there and not be used. Um, you, know, you, you ask the question whether there are any other ones like that. Who knows? But, yeah, um, any, if there, we didn't have the policy, any proposal that was put to council, they would come to council either way, whether with or without the policy, and you'd anticipate the officers' recommendations would have governance principles in the same way as this. Um, there may be times when you do want to donate money that doesn't fit within these guidelines too and, and the policy does say those can still go to council for a decision so it makes no difference whether you've got it or not. Thank you very much. Yes, I think yeah, to conclude my contribution, Mayor, I think it's much of a muchness. Um, I personally feel more safe having these provisions and a framework in place to know that if it did come before the council, which is highly unlikely, at least we would have a mechanism by which to assess a potential proposal and I'm cognizant that we wouldn't even have to apply the policy um, if it did come before the council anyway. So I personally feel more comfortable re renewing it, um, but I, I take the point if others disagree. Um, so that's why I'll be voting against the recommendation. Thanks, Mayor. Councillor Wass. Thank you, 